I think as a worship leader that stands up in front of a congregation every Sunday, it is very important to remember that we are God's messenger. We are not God. <laughs> and I know that that's obvious, but, but sometimes the spotlight, the microphone, all of that can be a little bit of a distraction. Um, and we, how that might manifest itself is if we might use our gifts pointing towards us rather than pointing towards Him. Um, God has given us, a, given us a message, and He's looking for people to be obedient, to lead His people in songs that point to that message, that point to Him being King, point to Jesus being worthy. Um, and to the best of our ability, we need to try to do that, and then we will truly be successful in the job of leading worship. It can be a hard job at times because there's so many different styles of music, and um, any concert that someone would do maybe in a community, it, it probably is geared toward a certain age group. Well, church is not like that. Church is geared towards 2 to 92. And so we as worship leaders truly need to be sensitive to that. Um, everything from volume to song choices to how often we do songs to the repetitions we do within the songs that we do. So there's a lot of different decisions that have to be made. Um, and unfortunately, there's not just an easy formula. I'd say I'm just going about it humbly and just trying to make the best decisions we can um, and not to make those decisions alone. Get input from other people in your congregation. A huge aspect of humility is spending time in God's Word. And I think that when we don't spend regular time reading the Bible, um, we're really saying, hey God, I can take it from here. Thanks for saving me. But from here on out, I'm pretty sure I know what to do, um, which is... It's a fairly arrogant way to live life, which, which I do that sometimes, so I can, I can tell you that. Um, but the more time I spend in God's Word, the more I'm reminded that this is not about me. Um, that Christianity is a story that started back um, before the foundations of the earth, before the beginning of time. And I get to be a small part of that. And I get to be small, one person worshiping God and helping another small community worship God. Um, but worship has been something that's been happening for longer than I could ever know and will continue to occur for eternity. And in light of that, I realize how small I am, um, which is helpful to not take myself too seriously. It is music, and it is praising God, and it is something that happens on Sunday morning, but it's definitely a lot, not limited to that. And if our worship of God is limited to that, then, then we're not truly living lives of worship. And I'll, um, not to sound too harsh, but it almost makes what we do on Sunday mornings just a show. Because if we're gonna say things to the Lord like I surrender all, if we're gonna sing things like that to Him, um, we truly need to be living our lives in a very surrendered way. We need to be surrendering to God our time and our money and our relationships. And so worship ends up being a, a huger thing than just a weekend service. It ends up being a way that we live our lives. One thing I, I'd love to encourage Danish worship, worship leaders to do would be sing your song to the Lord. You know, write music rather than, um, rather than always singing the English songs or always singing songs you know, from Australia or other countries. Those are great and they're great tools, but I truly believe that God is doing something unique in Denmark and it's our worship songwriters that equip God's people to be able to sing about that new thing, to sing that new song to the Lord. Um, and I would just say, you know, pray that God, God would bless your worship communities with new songs about Him.